hey guys, we are being asked if the graph for each of these lines, if the two of them are parallel to each other, perpendicular, or neither, okay? So parallel means it's two lines that never cross. Perpendicular means they cross at a 90 degree angle, and then neither is just, they just cross each other once probably, okay? So in order to know if these are parallel, perpendicular, or neither, we need to know what their slope is. The slope is the whole key to this, okay? In order to figure out their slope pretty easily, I want to be in slope intercept form, okay? You're probably used to this, y equals mx plus b. So what I want to do for each of these equations is get y alone, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Let's start over here. So to get y alone, I need to get rid of this negative 2x. So I'm going to add 2x because then those go away on that side, right? But if I add 2x to this side of my equal sign, I got to add it to this side to keep my equation balanced, right? Okay, so when I do that, I'm left with 6y equals, I can't combine these because they're not like terms, and I'm going to write the x first so that I'm getting closer to this form, okay? So I'm just going to write 2x plus 24, okay? We are getting closer, but I want um, y all the way alone. So 6 and y are being multiplied, and the opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide by 6. But if I divide this side, I got to divide this side, and I got to divide the whole thing by 6. If this looks scary, stick with me, okay? All right, 6 over 6 um, simplifies down to just 1. So I'm left with 1y, but we usually just write that as y, equals k. I'm going to divide these and I'm going to divide each of them by six. Okay. This is another way we can use the distributive property. So I'm just dividing each one by six. Okay. So I'm going to have two X over six plus 24 over six. Okay. You're like, that doesn't look any better. <laughs> Don't worry. It's going to look better. Okay. So when I simplify this down, uh, two over six is going to give me, um, a decimal and I don't really want a decimal. Okay. We like to stick with fractions in this case. So I'm going to simplify this fraction down. Um, if you need a more in-depth video on that, I'll link one in the corner, but basically I'm looking and I see two goes into both of them. Two goes into two once and two goes into six, three times. So two sixths guys, sixths is so hard to say. Just try saying it. Okay. All right. Two sixths <laughs> simplifies down to one third and we still have the X. Okay. I could write it on top, but I'm going to write it on the side like that since we are trying to get into slope intercept form. Okay. Then we are going to add 24 divided by six is four, right? So look at that. Are we looking pretty good here? I think we're looking pretty good. So that is one of my equations. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here and we're going to compare their slopes. Okay. So let's simplify our two Y plus six equals negative six X minus six. Okay. Again, we're trying to get Y alone. So first I'm going to get rid of this plus six by subtracting six. If I do it on this side, I got to do it on this side. Okay. Those go away. So on this side, I'm left with two Y equals I still got that negative six X and then we've got negative six minus six. This is like, I owe you $6 and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I got to borrow six more dollars from you. So now I'm in your debt, $12, right? Minus 12. Okay. We're getting close, but we still have two Y. So I'm going to divide by two to get rid of that and divide this whole thing by two. Okay. All right. That goes away. So I'm left with y equals, I'm going to split these up again. So I'm going to have negative 6x over 2 minus 12 over 2. You see how I just put the 2 under each of them. Okay. All right. Now we're going to simplify these. All right. I've got a negative 6 divided by 2, which gives me negative 3. And we still have the x. Okay. Minus 12 over 2 gives me 6. Okay, 
I have my two equations, okay? Now, when we look at these, like I said, we are looking at the slope. That is what is going to tell us if these are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Remember, in slope intercept, my slope is the one in front of the x, okay? So this one's slope is one third, and this one's slope is negative three, okay? If two lines are parallel, they have the same slope, okay? Yeah, yeah. They have the same slope, just going the same way <laughs> apart from each other, they're never gonna cross, okay? Perpendicular, the slope is what we see here, okay? It is the reciprocal, meaning it's flipped and the sign is changed. So see how one third, if you were to flip it and change the sign, you get negative three, right? So that means these two lines are perpendicular. Okay. Now, if you had two with just different slopes that weren't the same and weren't the reciprocal and a different sign, then they would be neither, just two lines that cross each other. Okay. All right. Hopefully that made sense. If you want an example for parallel lines, I will link one in the corner for you. Thanks. Bye.